Hey guys, my name is Lauren and in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing and putting together my Octo Classic 110S skimmer for my brand new build. But if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on that bell so that you're notified when I'm uploading new videos. And as always, a huge, huge thank you to all of my subscribers and supporters um, for all of your continued support. It means the absolute world, so thank you. But before we get into all of that, I would like to take this opportunity to say a huge thank you to Anthony from Aquarium Gallery who actually sponsored me this for my new build. Um, a massive, massive thank you for all of your support. Um, it means the absolute world, so thank you. Um, and for those of you who are in Australia or people who wish to come to Australia in the future, you have to check out Aquarium Gallery. It is seriously a boutique fish store. It is insanely gorgeous. Um, so I did do a video there. Um, so I'll leave the link up above for anyone that would like to go and check it out. So definitely if you're in Western Australia, you need to do yourself a favor and go there. <laughs> right. Let's have a look what we get inside the box. All right, here we are. My first ever skimmer, by the way, um, my six foot, as some of you may or may not know, is run just on a canister filter. So um, here we are, first ever skimmer. I'm reassured that these are fairly easy to put together. <laughs> so we should be all sweet with assembling this one. All right, so in the box you get a how to pop it together, which is awesome. <laughs> Definitely appreciate that. Especially for a new skimmer put together like me. <laughs> all right, so you get those two parts there. You get this nozzle. And here is the main chamber for the skimmer. So we've got the top part that goes on there. It comes with the skimmer pump right there and also some other sections there. So there's your collection cup. I'm just gonna take that skew tape off the sides there. All right, so this is everything that you get in the box. Um, we are going to open the pump and put that in. That's the pump there with some little rubber bits on the bottom. All right, so with this part, um, it comes already put together like that, but you actually want to unscrew these because the pump is going to sit inside and you want the power cord to come out through that little section at the back there. So I'll show you what I mean. That fits on top really nicely there. So you just push that down. Now with this, you want the pipe bit going forward to come out that side with this part facing out to the side like that. So it needs to go in like that. So that needs to go around like that. And the cord just goes out through the back. So that needs to connect on there. And then pop the screws back on. So this part goes on the front. So that connects onto the front bit there. All right, so that goes in the side that way with the cutout facing the back. So that's your front. So you've got the angled side there. And then we will pop this pipe in through the side, which connects into there. And your pipe, which will connect onto here and up through here. So to adjust this skimmer, you've got the little hole there and you can just twist it around to get it to the right consistency for your tank, which is a nice little easy way to adjust it. And lastly, you've got your cup that'll just sit on top like that. So let's go ahead and pop it into the tank. All right, so I thought I'd do a little sneaky and uh, jump forward a month. Uh, so it's been a month since I filmed that beginning part you just watched. So I wanted to wait a little bit before turning on my skimmer. So in the meantime, in this last month, I have added in this Aquaforest Life Biofill. So that's the little pebbles that you can see. So that's some nice porous rock that's already got that nitrifying bacteria on it. And also I've been putting in the Bio S drops by Aquaforest as well every single day. Um, I've noticed we have started the ugly phase, although I will give my snails some credit. 
I've put three snails in there and they're making it look very beautiful throughout this ugly phase. So um, I'm obviously wiping down the glass so that the snails aren't focusing their attention on the glass and focusing their attention on the rock and the sand. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's what's been happening in the tank since I filmed that first part. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on the skimmer and get that all up and running before we add in those fishing corals. Straight off we overflowed, nice. I've turned it down a little bit, but I might go just up a little bit more. So. I'm also going to um, empty the cup because it had all that water in it that just that was done again <laughs> here we go that's a bit better Right, now we've got the skimmer up and running and that was my first time ever putting together a skimmer and getting it started for the first time. And I've got to say, it was a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. So really happy about that. Over the coming weeks, I'll adjust it as need be. You know, when you start adding fish and corals, I might need to adjust it. But yeah, really happy with the assembly of that beautiful piece of equipment. So really excited to see how that goes over time. The last bit of equipment that I'm going to be adding to this tank is my Kamoa Dosa. Really excited to get that one up and running. So stay tuned for that one. And then we will officially be up and running with this build. So excited to share the journey with you guys. So make sure that if you are new to like and subscribe, turn on that bell so that you're notified when I'm uploading new videos. And thank you so, so much for watching everyone. And we will see you next time.